Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. We went through Yumi Ando and he came out from Tokyo, Japan. Strength training is obviously really critical for throwers. We kind of wanted to look at his Olympic lifting technique. We wanted to look at what he was doing for rotational core work. What's his ratio between his hamstrings and his quads? This is a real common thing, right? Everybody tends to focus on benches and squats, but are they doing enough assistance? Key accessory work that's going to help that gross posture. So we ran Yumi through a number of different lifts, kind of evaluated his clean, his snatch, his squat, his core rotation, all that kind of stuff, and to get a sense of what his training is like and is it helping optimize his throwing. So one of the reasons we like the barbell work, you notice that we're gonna do left side and right side. What it's gonna do is really amplify and intensify a position. So this is why it's a good training thing to add, but here we were just kind of showing Yumi his correct path with his lower body and how the upper body is supposed to move. So one of the things we wanted to do is let Yumi know that how he was hitting his block and how he needs to be hitting his block, the barbell just simply amplified how we were able to do that and make him feel those positions and again what's funny is you can see here we're communicating using the translator app which was obviously a huge help it adds a different dimension to the training Great. Common mistake for Yumi um, and a lot of throwers is that as they come around, they're not leading with the lower body properly ahead. So what's happening is he winds up opening the upper body a little too much and the barbell is really gonna kind of help exaggerate that. You'll see that in our system, we utilize barbells, dumbbells, uh, weight plates. We've put this in previous videos, but the idea here is to create different stimulus. And so we're gonna be addressing all the various keys in, in our system. So this is what we would refer to as power position training. We're looking at, you know, pillar five, pillar six, where it kind of timing up the block arm, the block leg, the delivery side. These are all the important things that um, need to get addressed and the resistance really helps get to that point faster. Then we switched around to snatches and you can see Yumi was predominantly doing hang snatches, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but some of his motion was a little too, um, wasn't linear enough. Yeah. Hook. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hang and full range and power. We wanted to have Yumi work into the full range of motion. He's pretty much doing a hang power. We think that's really great, but one of the things is we recommend is you want to have that full range. When you go to the full range of motion, oftentimes in your Olympic lifts and things like that, it's going to help the elongation of like the hamstrings and the hips and the full range of motion is a good thing to add into the training. It's not always necessary, but I think there's a lot of value to it. And that's what we were trying to communicate here to Yumi. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. All the way, all the way. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be explaining where the bar is, how the lats stay tight, teach him how to properly load through the hamstring. We think this is a perfect example. Good, strong quads, but you can see when we tried to get into the full range of motion, he would have a little bit of a hard time. Right here, we were focusing on things like RDLs, and so we're really trying to teach him how to create the right hinge, load up the hamstrings and the glutes. Really, really important for throwers to really work that posterior chain strength. Good. All the way. Touch it to the ground. Yep, there we go. Good. There we go, nice. Yep. 
So you'll notice that we started out with some lighter weight. I think its progression is super important for throwers. A lot of times you want to learn motor control. You want to learn range of motion. You could kind of hear Yumi previously just kind of like grunting a little bit with the lighter weight because he's not used to fully elongating the muscles in those positions. And so this is where we wanted to focus. It's the yin and the yang. <laughs> right? All the way, good. All the way, all the way. Sink, sink, sink. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. One of the things is, as we went through and we showed him the full range of motion on like an overhead squat, now we want to do integrate in some recovery work. So the myofascial work, foam rollers, med balls, those sorts of things are really good. It's really important that you understand the sequence of how to properly administer the self myofascial release work. This is what we did. We kind of took him through and we we're showing him the key muscles that coordinate to the specific lifts. So then obviously you can see here, we moved on to working through where's he at with his squats. Pretty good range of motion, pretty good squatter, pretty good bencher. And here's a perfect example. Yumi actually has probably from a ratio standpoint, his bench is his biggest lift, but that's not the thing that's creating the biggest impact on his throw. And if you looked earlier in the videos, you would see hamstrings and some of those other issues were definitely bigger areas of focus for him. How we structure the program, we were just looking at base assessment, finding those things very similar to how we approach the throw, kind of determine where's the starting point, what technical habits need to be fixed, and kind of run them through, again, our stages, just like we do with our throwing chain reaction system. We have our strength stages, and the difference between weight training and throwing is that you're literally targeting exercises that are gonna directly attack the weaknesses. So hopefully you found today's video helpful. Be sure to comment below. If you'd like to learn more information about strength training for throwers, be sure to click the link in the description or in the bio, and we will see you on the next video.